Hey folks, Ray from DCRayMaker.com. Today we've got GoPro's Karma drone here. Uh, now Karma is actually more than just a drone, it's a drone, it's a gimbal system, uh, so it's kind of a platform as I call it. Now about a month ago you saw my initial videos on both the drone as well as the gimbal. Uh, I'm here today to do an unboxing video and kind of segue into a multi-part series. So this first video is just the unboxing side of things, and then I've got videos talking about different pieces of it. Uh, so we've got flying, we've got tests against the DJI Mavic, against the Phantom 4, um, how it differs in terms of things like autonomous tracking modes and, and all sorts of good stuff. Uh, we'll talk about kind of the control system, how well that works, uh, both being, you know, like last minute filming as well as kind of more prepared filming. Uh, so lots of good stuff. Um, but first we got to get this thing unboxed. Now there are actually three different versions of the Karma. Uh, first is at $7.99, there's a drone without any camera at all. Uh, it does include the gimbal, but there's no camera attached. Then at $9.99, you can get one with the Hero 5 Session on it. Uh, and then at $10.99 or $1,099, you can get one with the Hero 5 Black on it. Uh, now there's also actually a fourth edition that's not really well known, which is this edition here. Um, this edition is the GoPro Karma drone with the Hero 4 Black. Uh, and the reason for that is that Best Buy appears to be doing some sort of exclusive basically on this edition that no one really wants but it's the only one that's actually available right now um, so that's what i'm going to be focusing on right now uh, i'll be doing both filming on the hero 5 version and the hero 4 version uh, over the course of these video series it's just simply that the first one i've got in my hands is the hero 4 version while the hero 5 version is a few days away still with that let's tear this apart okay so here we are with the karma box now this box is actually a backpack uh, and you can see that if you flip it over here, you can start to see the straps right there. Um, there are actually two different backpacks from GoPro that work with the Karma drone. The first one is the one that every single Karma drone comes with, this one here. But there's a second backpack called a Seeker. Uh, and that backpack also fits the drone, just in a different kind of style. You have to take up the props in order for that one to work. Um, but it is functional and something I'll show in a separate video coming up here. With that, we'll go ahead and remove this outer sleeve right now. Uh, the sleeve essentially talks about the different modes. So you can see on the back here, it's got the detachable gimbal inside. Uh, it has kind of the modes for attaching the gimbal into the backpack, so you can wear this uh, for just the gimbal side of it. And then we have the remote control it talks about there, and then the different functions and the app that you need for the companion app, which is called Passenger, on both Google Play and the App Store. There's that secret backpack I was talking about earlier. It's a much smaller backpack than this one here. Uh, so first things first, just to go ahead and just slide this off. There we go, toss that out of the way. And here is the Karma backpack. Uh, again, you can see the straps on the back right there. And most notably, here is a standard GoPro mount. Um, so you can slide a GoPro into that right there. Uh, and that's where you slide the Karma grip adapter into that. So you can go ahead and basically put the Karma grip on your backpack and shoot like that while you're skiing or something along those lines. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop this open. We got this little thing right here. We should be able to snap that by just pulling it apart. There we go. And... Here we go. So there we have it, inside the GoPro Karma Drone backpack. Uh, what you see here from left to right is one, the remote control. Uh, two, we have up here the charging adapter, USB-C, and the one for the battery. Uh, we've got the camera, or sorry, we've got the drone itself right here. We have the Karma Grip. Um, this is for basically the, the gimbal side of things uh, to attach the gimbal to. We have spare parts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this over a little bit and kind of talk through things in more detail. Um, so number one is the remote control. Now, GoPro's taken an entirely different approach to remote control as DJI has. DJI has basically shrunk the remote control down and made it so that your phone is that control. Uh, that's a cool idea. Um, the positive side to this though, is that it's a little more resilient than your phone is. So it's just clamshell design. You simply you know, put it somewhere, it's easy to, to toss around, um, and it's a little better off waterproofing wise than your phone is as well. Uh, this is kind of slightly rain resistant, whereas your phone is gonna vary a little bit. Uh, pros and cons, but just something to keep in mind. So we got this right there. Uh, this charges on USB-C, by the way. So the adapter, there we go, right there. Um, all of the new GoPro Hero 5 stuff charges with USB-C. Next, we've got the charging cable right here. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, there are two pieces to the charging cable. One is the charging portion for the battery right there. And then next is the USB adapter uh, for Karma Grip, as well as the remote control over here. So I'll put that right there. Next, we've got this little baggie. Um, I do not yet know it's in the baggie. So it looks like, here we go. Okay, we've got a GoPro Hero 4 um, basically frame mount case. So if you wanted to mount this separately uh, with the Hero 4 itself, we've got a standard uh, mount for the GoPro. Any GoPro that goes on the front of the backpack, for example, to mount the GoPro into this on the front of your backpack. We've got a small leash here 
Um, so it looks like probably for something in here that we can tether on. Here is the GoPro Karma Grip ring. Uh, this is important. So what this does allows you to take this piece here, attach it to this, and then slide the Karma Grip down inside like that. Um, and this then you can put in the front of your backpack and use it to have stabilized footage while you're skiing or cycling or walking or doing whatever you're doing. Uh, another USB, that's actually a mini USB charging cable. Uh, we'll find out what that is for in a moment. And then we have here a USB-C charging cable. Uh, so mini USB actually is for the uh, GoPro Hero 4 Black. Uh, and that's because GoPro Hero 4 comes with mini USB and not USB-C. And then we have a tether here. Uh, we can use this on, let's see, the Karma's there. So we can use this here on uh, right there to go ahead and keep it so you don't drop your remote control in, in bad places. And that's, that's all that's in here. Oh, we got one more piece. Uh, this is the tiny cap for the Hero 4 Black, um, the kind of USB compartment area there. Uh, honestly, you're never going to use this again. Just throw it away now. Um, okay, next we have Karma Grip. So Karma Grip is the bottom half of your gimbal. Um, the gimbal goes into the top right here, and then you have the recording control mode. You have highlight tags. Uh, you can lock the orientation, and I'll show that. And I actually already show that in my Karma Grip gimbal video up there. Um, so you can go see how all that works right there, but there's a gimbal. We've got some paper junk that you're never gonna read either. Uh, over here, it looks like probably the battery. Uh, this is props, okay. So we have, okay, so this is your props right here as well as tools for removal. And last but not least, we have the drone itself. Um, so I just lost some of those cute little caps over the edge there. Uh, these were just you know, covering the top there. I think you can safely throw those away um, immediately. Uh, so here is the Karma drone. You'll notice the battery is not actually locked in place. It was just there. Uh, so if you take this out real quick, I'll show you that adapter um, here, you can see it goes in on the, there we go, right there. Um, so this allows you to kind of plop it in, oops, sorry, just like this and to charge your battery. Um, so we'll take this and put this off the side again. This otherwise will slide in the back right there. Flip it over, sorry. And then to prepare it for flight, you just simply take out these four legs and we're good to go. Um, on the front here we have the GoPro Hero 4 Black that I talked about earlier. If you have the Hero 5 Session or Black, it goes there. Uh, and the way it works is you remove this front piece right here. This is a gimbal attachment. It costs 29 bucks to get a new one of these, um, this plastic piece here. So you can go ahead and put a Hero 5 on this uh, if you want to down the road. Of course, that's actually not available from GoPro right now, so you're kind of SOL if you want to do that. Okay, so for how the gimbal works, what you're gonna do is you can go ahead and simply unlock it right like this, and then you can just pull this out of the front like that. And then you're going to take this portion here and then you go ahead and just simply place it into the gimbal itself and then you can lock it on the back there so it's locked. Um, this allows you then if you were to power it up right now, uh, I'm not sure if there's any juice left in this at all, and there we go. And you can see now it's actually powered uh, and it also powered up the camera as well. It's true both the Hero 5 as well as Hero 4. And you can see now it responds instantaneously like this and I can use different modes here as well as start recording if I had an SD card in there. I don't think it comes with one. Nope, no SD card. Um, so here's a locket, for example. Uh, so I've got to hold it down for a second. And now you can see it's locked in the upper orientation. So let's go and power this off for right now. There we go, that's off. We'll go ahead and unlock this, place that back over here, hope it doesn't go off the edge, uh, and toss it back into the drone. So again, what you're gonna do is line this up like this, just simply slide it in, and then lock the lock ring, and you're good to go. Um, now, two more things to note. One is that you have the landing gear in the back. This does pop out like that. Um, this allows you to put it on a surface, not this surface particularly, but a surface that's somewhat flat. Um, and we still have to put the props on, which we'll talk about in just a second. Otherwise, inside this compartment here, the last thing we have is the power adapter cable for the charging piece there. Uh, we have something to help me to update my camera software. That's actually really important because GoPro only just released uh, the camera software for the Hero 4 and the Hero 5 to support Karma uh, the same day they started shipping. So you wanna do that. And then here we have more paper stuff. Uh, let's getting started, GoPro care warranty, Hero 4 black camera manual, some stickers uh, and product safety information. Uh, really the one that you're probably gonna care about is this right here, which is the Karma drone manual for going ahead and getting everything ready to roll, including getting the props on there. Um, and it just simply talks about tightening those by hand loosely. So we'll do that now. So we'll go ahead and open this prop box up. And inside the prop box, there we go. We have six props. Um, so they give you two spares. 
So if you see here, there are different ones for different props. So see the silver ones, one, two, three there, and the black ones, one, two, three there. They simply match. So black to black, silver to silver here, another black up there. Uh, so I'll do that real quick, and then we'll get going. Okay, with that set, I'm going to move some stuff out of the way and we'll try to power this up. Okay, with everything else set, what we're first going to do is turn on the remote control. So I do that here by pressing this button right there. I'm going to go ahead and remove the plastic doohickey, the little covery plastic thing. You'll see the GoPro is starting up right there. Uh, in the meantime, I will go ahead and press the on button back here on the Karma drone itself. There we go. does take a minute to start up here uh, so you can see the status symbol right there it's kind of our status uh, bar right there so it is walk working through that and here we are at the beginning uh, so it is a touch screen control so I go to press English right there to get started I agree that I'm not doing anything bad or it's not doing anything bad uh, and I press the OK button right there now it's gonna search for Wi-Fi now this is, this is a sort of a problem with this whole thing. Um, you have to have Wi-Fi connectivity for a lot of the functions of this remote. Um, so if you're traveling and you do not have Wi-Fi connectivity where you are at the moment that you do some of this remote stuff, you're kind of screwed, in particular around maps. So you can fly without the Wi-Fi connectivity, yes. But if you want to download maps, you have to have an open Wi-Fi network. A lot of hotels don't have that. Um, and your phone, especially if you're traveling internationally, may not have the ability to do a Wi-Fi hotspot pairing on it either. Uh, so this is something that it's kind of weird and it's really too bad that you can't just use the Wi-Fi or connectivity on your phone and set up a Wi-Fi network like you would for the GoPro unit itself. Um, so with that, I need to go back inside and get things connected to Wi-Fi and get them ready to go. Uh, but this is a good place to end this video and then go ahead and we'll talk in the next video on flying the drone, first flight and everything like that. Uh, by the time you see this video, that video will be right down there or here or somewhere else. Uh, so just click on whichever video of these you want to go ahead and dive into the rest of my awesome GoPro Karma stuff. Have a good one. Oh wait, don't forget to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button uh, because it'll quite frankly make you awesome. Have a good one.